Alright folks, we're back. Part 6 of Super Tennis. And about over halfway done with the game. I mean, not comparatively just because I'm losing in all these tournaments, but at least uh, you're seeing all the different courts and a lot of dress. So that's... <laughs> I keep reminding you that that's a good thing. Play. Otherwise this game would be a brick. Yeah, I, I think this court had a hard surface, and I don't know what that does for the balance of the tennis ball. Uh. It seems like it... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I don't really pay too much attention. The grass courts, the clay courts, the hard courts, I mean, I know there's enough of them, but I've actually seen more courts than... Uh, uh. There's actually different types of courts than just three of them. I mean, in, in like one player and two player mode, you can only choose like three, but I would definitely say that there's more in the circuit mode. So, but this Phil character is just whipping my ass. That's just kind of the thing. You're going to find that a lot of cheap tricks that he does, he knows how to serve and uh, the game kind of favors him just in terms of like you know, the faults, the outs, and that sort of stuff. Huh. Sometimes the game does that. I mean, you want... I mean, it's not really a complaining thing when Play. the outs are on your side, but... I, mean, I think I get a fault in just about every set, so it's this kind of situation. Uh. Huh. Fault. I haven't heard too much about tennis on the news. I don't know how many people are actually interested for it. And it's not like it's not interesting, but just to kind of say, I've heard enough about football, baseball, basketball, but I haven't heard about tennis and soccer in some cases. I mean, the World Cup and all that nonsense. I mean, it's like the first year that the World Cup's not going to be around, and it's like, hell, it's probably driving people crazy and shit. But then I don't know if it's every year. I forget. I don't know the soccer terms that much just because it's kind of a afterthought in the United States. Tennis and soccer are kind of afterthoughts. Oh. Golf is like a popular among the rich and the older, the elderly, the older folks, but... So you would think that that would be an out just by, you know, the fact that that goes over my head. It's like, yeah. Ball. This is, a, this is simply just a quirky game. The whole thing about it is kind of... I mean, it's trying to be, like, photogenic tennis, but, I mean, sometimes the conditions Play. just kind of feel, like, biased. This is what I'm talking about. This guy is good at serving. Oh. You're gonna watch as he does it, and this is kind of. I just wonder how much that last tournament's gonna piss me off. I am actually not in last place, so I'm getting points here. This happens to be the thing. I mean, I'm at least attempting to do some of those things, but. Be funny for me to sit there and be in second place and I haven't even won a single game or something. I'm actually ahead of more than half of the opponents. So we should get some prize money. I mean, you'd think 13th place out of 30th would result in something. And that's what they do in golf. I mean, you're, everyone gets money right. and that sort of stuff. I thank Happy Gilmore for informing me of that, but. Oh. You have to think of being a struggling tennis player, getting 13th place. I mean, someone's got to get 13th or 15th out of 35 or 36, you know, in 14th. And it's like, oh, yeah, you know, well, you 
go home with five hundred dollars. So you can't quit your day job, but at least you can get some new speakers, some shit like that. Uh, get yourself like twenty CDs, that sort of shit. Deuce. False. Uh. Deuce. So. False. Deuce is just gonna kind of be around for a little bit. It's gonna be idiotic. Uh. Yeah, I'm surprised that Mario is not being a ref. I guess they just wanted this to be realistic. I mean, because he was in Punch Out, and I think he was actually in tennis for the NES or something. He's in golf. He's in one of those games. But I'm kind of glad that this is realistic in some cases, just because. You know, this doesn't entirely feel like, you know, something that's designed. I mean, the Super Nintendo has a lot of games that are kind of fluffy and more, uh, the pizzazz makes it feel for like the younger set, but this actually feels like something someone who was like 25 or 27 back in 1992 could probably play. So. set this time but I did last time it's kind of the situation so we'll head to the next tournament and that'll come up soon but actually we're gonna Cobalt attempts the tournament so that's the next episode is that Cobalt's gonna kind of see how he does and he found this game to be cheap as much as I did so get prepared for that it's gonna be quick but it's still gonna be an episode just because I wanted an extra a second opinion on some of this nonsense that's the password. We're just going to kind of get that in motion. Subscribe for more fun. Stay tuned. Keep watching. And thanks for watching.